All right, we're back. Okay. We're back. We rolled back the save. Which turned out to be right here. Which turned out to be right here. Uh, in theory, everything's fine. Let's hope. I sighed and cut my beefcake with a plastic knife. So, any girls in mind, fellas? Beside me, Mai shifted nervously. Her eyes kept flicking from Jared to her french fries. She looked like a child who stole several cookies. Do, do I ask Jared? Do I ask the french fries? Jared? Fries? I do like fries, and they haven't sent me dick pics. <laughs> mm, the, um, the fries hadn't been in my mouth yet, so I figured it was time for something new. <laughs> Jared spread out his arms and raised an eyebrow, a god waiting for names to fall into his lap. Uh, uh... I'm thinking of going solo this year, to be honest. Yeah. Same. Man, you guys are boring. You aren't better, man. I, I am on another level compared to you guys. I've already got my choice picked out. There was a quiet clattering next to me. Mai had dropped her fork. Oh no, my chances are ruined. I'll never get with Jared. I'm just not young enough for him. That's when Mai revealed she was three three-year-olds on top of each other's shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Put in a trench coat, little yeah. rascal style. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll have a. It'll probably be a new choice tomorrow. Jared flipped his hair with his hand. You know me so well. There's only so much <coughs> time to make so many different girls' dreams come true. What a fucking ass. This aged super well. I love it. Mm hmm. I must find the. One who is most in need. Jay, at the end of this, we have to do a supercut of things that did not age well. I'm not going through and marking all that out. It's far too late. So it's not even which one you like, huh? Like, not now, but I mean, yeah. at the end of the series. I don't want to do that, because I have to start marking them all out now. Then I have to go back and watch however many episodes we've had to mark out those. Fair point. Nope. And you make fun of and you make fun of me. Yeah, he thinks he's doing a service to the women by yeah. going out on one date with them. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Just then the warning bell rang. It was time to head back to class. I hadn't even eaten my meat pie. You know, it was a cake. beef cake. It yeah. was a beef cake. Beef beef cake. Cake. As everyone got up to toss their trays, I stood up and overwhelmed with a sudden burst of feeling, shouted. But thank you for letting me and my lunch with you today. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hannah was having a terrible day. You guys cheered her right up. So, see you guys tomorrow, same time. Oh, you sly bitch. Yeah. Mai tilted her head, eyes twinkling. Mai, <laughs> Paul said we could only sit with them. Why would you bring that up, you stupid asshole? <laughs> ah, it's cool. Paul waved his hand in dismissal, almost dropping his tray with the others. <laughs> I like this notion that this Paul man is some sort of cro -Magnon. I stood at the beach. I tried to skip my sandwich across the lake and took a bite out of my rock. People saw. <laughs> what is that from? Because that sounded really well put together. That's a 4 post. <laughs> it's a very old green text. It was like, name your most socially awkward moment. And someone's like, and in goes the sandwich. Point rock. <laughs> it's so fucking real. We've all done that or something similar at some point. Ugh. I mean, the closest I've done to that was putting the box of cereal in the fridge and the, and the milk, milk in the, in the cupboard. cupboard. And you kind of have that, like, brain-rebooting Microsoft tone, and you're like, oh, that wasn't right. I've tried to wash my hand with toothpaste one time. <laughs> I one time tried to body wash with shampoo. That hurts. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you know they make, like, three-in-ones now where they're shampoo, conditioner, and body wash? Yeah, I buy them, so that never happens again. I'm prepared. <laughs> Smart move, man. Mm-hmm. Plus, it's great, because if you ever need to, like, get a certain part of you showered, you just have one bottle, and there's not fumbling. Yeah, if you have shampoo in your eyes, you don't have to, like, uh, yeah. feel the bottle. Uh, well, no, I mean, it's more like, oh, man, I just did some hard work, and now my arm is covered in, I don't know, fucking, like, grass stains or mud. I can just be like, fuck it, bleh, shower it off. All right. Yeah. The cafeteria is really crowded. 
We'll have extra room at our table. People are afraid to sit with us or something. It's probably because we hang out with that predator and pedophile. We hang out with a predator? <laughs> well, we did kick a girl yesterday. <laughs> All three of them shrugged at the same time and left the room, moving in unison like a team of synchronized swimmers. There goes Mary, <laughs> Larry, Moe, and Curly. Jared dumped that was the That was their names, right? Larry, Curly, and Moe. Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, Jared dumped his train, jogged to catch up with them. As soon as they were out of mirror shop, Mai took my hand in hers and jumped up and down. You did it, Hannah! We get to sit at the popular table! I've been trying to do this for two years, and you did it in two days! It's probably the pink hair. Yeah, you got protagonist hair. She dropped our hands and made a jokingly, I think, angry face. Main characters had all the fun! Yeah, fuck, I love how self-aware Mai is. Yeah, other people pointed out too, so I think it's just supposed to be a running joke of the universe. Yeah. But... Like, this is this is the same thing as JoJo Season 5, where the main character is desperately trying not to be the main character anymore. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's how you... That's great, because that's how you describe JoJo Season 5. It's a uh, slice of life turns into a murder mystery where the murderer is desperately trying to turn it back into a slice of life. Brilliant. All right. You must be... You'll be in pairs, painting a diary. <laughs> Wait, that's not how that works. Painting a diorama or paper mache, pipi, paper mache. No, I'm just like, is that like papier mache, papier mache lamp, anything postmodern? Then write a paper on design or don't. That works too. Fuck, man, that's the weirdest fucking. I don't understand this assignment. <laughs> what do you want? Do an art project. There's no limit. I had that once for an English class. It was a What did you submit it, Jay? Oh, well, I just dunked some pine cones in a paint bucket because I panicked. <laughs> I see. What is that? Oh, glitter. Um, that wasn't intentional. I, I was putting the art supplies away and those fell on it and I thought it looked nice. Is that from something? Yeah, that happened to me in first grade. Oh my god. <laughs> Genuine moment of just, I don't know what you, eh. and, then, oh. and the teacher just kind of took pity on me and gave me an A and... Well, no, it wasn't even fucking great back then. She just gave me a sticker and sent me off because I think neither of us wanted this conversation <laughs> to go any longer. <laughs> but remember, this project will count for 10% of your final grade? <laughs> fucking what? Do an art project. And then write about there it, I no, guess. I don't care. There are no parameters to this project, but it's worth 10% of your grade. And you no, might I have don't... to write a paper or not. I don't care. <laughs> I will not be giving you a rubric. It yeah. all depends on how much I like your project. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this female Eggman we're being taught by. <laughs> the only response was bitter murmuring. Yeah, and that's fair. It often ended with sound good, but she never cared about the answer. No, seriously, do you not see it? Like, I, I just realized her design is fucking Eggman. Oh my the god. The red overcoat with the oh six buttons. Oh my god. The black. Oh, I can't unsee it. The black dress. The only thing she doesn't have is her hair doesn't poof out to the sides in a weird portmanteau of his mustache. Yeah. All right. In the last few minutes of class, pick your partners and discuss your project plan. We'll continue next time. Easy. Pick my because she's clearly got a fucking design aesthetic. Yeah. So just piggyback off her creativity. In a matter of seconds, almost all the desks in the classroom connected. I looked at Mai, but a girl, Mimi Santos, already claimed her. Mai frowned at me as if to apologize. See, that's terrible, too, because, like, you two are roommates, <laughs> so that could have made things so much easier. I know, right? You could have just submitted the fucking decorative soaps yeah. and be like, this represents the futility of man. It's soap that you're not allowed to use. But if you do, it'll all go down the drain. Yep. Right down the drain. Yep. I scanned the classroom for the few other people I met, finding them already paired. This is when you match up with PBG, and he reveals your long-lost friendship. And yeah. Why don't we vow, do it? The yeah. sacred vow you made underneath the cherry blossom tree at age five that he expects yeah. you to remember where you're supposed to get yeah. married. The two of you were sitting in the fucking sandbox, and one of you had the sand bucket on the head, and the other one was trying to eat a rock. Yeah, and, and then one of you gave the other one a ring pop, and that's how you proposed. Yeah, or like a star sticker. Yeah. Kids love that shit. Yep. 
I once... If bit, you tell kids that you take their stickers away if they're bad, they stop being bad. Yeah. I real talk, I was a babysitter, and my secret weapon was I just had a star sticker sheet, and I'm just like, you good, you get these. And the fucking kids like, that would do whatever you wanted. Yep. I'm like, let's watch a movie, that's that's quiet. You watch the movie, good, here you go. And the kid just ran off and stuck it to something. I didn't care what. Oh, I heard a really good one a while ago, where what you do is you have like a big bag of M&M's, and you tell the kid, okay... At the end of the day, you get all of these M&Ms, but every time you're bad, I eat one of the M&Ms, and you have to watch me eat it. <laughs> I would say handful, just to fuck with them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Scan the classroom. Find a friend. Now you're gonna get your choice. I was gonna be. I was going to be the only one left without a partner. <laughs> if you have an odd number of kids in your class and you do this, you're a terrible person. And then the teacher will be like, "Oh, Hannah, I'll be your partner." Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Except it's going to be PBG. Yeah. The plot demands it. Suddenly, the edge of a desk collided with mine. Oh, who could have possibly predicted this? <laughs> I'm shocked, because I would have thought John Tron. He's not in this class, though. Isn't he? Oh, wait, yeah, he is. Never mind. Yeah. It would have been great, too, because John Tron's clearly got some sort of theater shit going on. You yeah, could do a great fact. diorama with him. Well, it's an yeah. art project, and he's like a theater guy. And yeah. There's no project. There's no set medium. Yeah. You could just do a skit. So what? So what did you guys present? Oh, I made a replica of the Millennium Falcon, and then I killed my former best friend in it. <laughs> Guess who will be working together? PBG sat in front of me with a cheeky grin. He's suddenly not like dismissive asshole. This is Doesn't weird. Does he sit on the other side of the room? How did he get his desk over here so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> I leaned yeah, over. Mm. To look past him, he left the gaping hole and said, <laughs> Oh, this is great! Aggressive See, friendship. See, mandatory friendship. Yeah. See, I was gonna say, all this makes me think of is that one thing where it's the guy with the pompadour pointing at the screen, and he's just like, I'm gonna befriend the shit out of you. Seeing my gaze, he turned around. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> He waved sheepishly, a boy glared at him. Oh, my leg! <laughs> you just see a big fucking imprint Man. of his footprint all over someone's back. Well, for better or worse, we're partners. I guess we are. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? I was apologizing to the people you injured on yeah. your behalf. Wait, no, that wasn't what I meant at all. <laughs> you're super smart. I'm sorry you're stuck with me. You're pretty smart too, though, right? I hope. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Not that I knew. I guess. But I hate schoolwork. I don't care about it at all. 10% of our grades. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh boy, I'm paired up with a. Oh no, he's an idiot. <laughs> Worse than an idiot, he's one of those smart assholes who don't give a shit yeah. even when other people's grades are on the line. Yeah, that was me. You asshole. Hey, I at least did it. I didn't care, but I did it. Okay, that's fair, but... I submitted my work. It was passionless and to the point. I Yeah, I'd much rather work with an idiot who actually does the work than a smart person who doesn't. Yeah, I was somewhere in the middle. I was someone who did the work, but I did the work to the letter. Okay. 500 word minimum, 700 word maximum, you're getting 500 words. Yep. Oh, now that I'm going to make you do it all. I may not like school, but... I'm not going to just let someone else fail because I think it sucks. CBG is just you. I mean, he's almost got the full beard and everything. I haven't done something like that since I was a kid. The girl got so mad, I learned my lesson. She, uh, pulled my underwear all the way over my head. Didn't think that was possible. I thought that just happened in <laughs> cartoons. You'd think that, but I've seen it. He laughed, hitting the desk and creeping his nose. <laughs> I didn't see what was so funny, but from the way he was looking at me, it seemed like I should. I smiled hesitantly. He stopped laughing and frowned at me the same way he did yesterday. I don't like your arresting bitch oh, face. Oh, you were the girl. Oh, no. And um, do you like apple cider? I'm sorry? Or, uh, Bimbal. What about Mongolias? Magnolias. Mongolias. Yeah, I guess I do. You guess you do? These are all things you liked as a child. Yeah. But you... He sputtered, opening and closing his mouth while he was trying to eat the air. <laughs> oh no, you've broken him. <laughs> I searched his face, wanting to help him out. He was clearly struggling. 
<laughs> PVG leaned forward, looking into my eyes like he was deciphering a code. A code that we will decipher next time, folks. Yep. See ya, folks. Thank <laughs> you.